I used to know heaps about computers, and a long time ago, I actually built my own. The trouble was, I let it get clogged up with dust and my hard drive overheated. I figured it was about time that I fixed it, so I bought some new parts and I set about restoring it to its former glory. Alright, so my computer is pretty wrecked at the moment. If you take a look, it is dust galore, so that's the first thing we're going to have to fix. It is essential for any computer to run correctly that it is free of dust. This is a bigger job than I thought it would be. Yeah. That doesn't sound too good. So most of the computer was working, but it was stuck in a loop. Yeah. Every time we turned it on, it would restart itself, and we couldn't figure out why. We think that the RAM slot is defective, but the RAM still works. So what we've done is we've switched the slots that the RAM is in, and hopefully this will fix the error. Oh, sorry, that, that turns me on. Just like the computer. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> We're making progress. We're making progress. Check this out. This is a solid state drive. This is like a hard drive, but it's got no moving parts, and it's very fast. Oh, instructions. instructions! Stop it. And a CD, I think. Alright, well we're not reading this, and we're not installing this. We're just going to plug this in and see how it goes. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, let's give it a whirl. I don't know. Alright, so with the SSD attached, it should... Okay, sweet. Boot media. This means we need to install an operating system. So we're on the way. No. Oi, fuck, that's Windows 8 too. I had Windows, oh, I might have turned into Windows 10. I hope it turned into Windows 10. It does 10. it automatically, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, I hope so. It, we need a keyboard. keyboard. No matter which way you put a USB in, it's never gonna go the right way. And then you take it out and put it back in and it's the wrong way again. Yeah, same. Fuck. Fuck. No, you gotta hit the any key. Which one's the any key? It's definitely not that one, you keep hitting that one. Right, so I think another problem is, I reckon if we unplug this, because the way the thing is booting up, it's in a different order of where it's looking to for information. So, if we unplug that, it'll go straight to the disk drive, and theoretically, we can install Windows 8, which will turn into 10, I hope. I've hit the you reckon? You reckon, I'll Sonny? The key. You sure? I hope. I just want to run set up. Try again. Dang, Dang son. He's not getting as easy. No. You really no. ain't. No hope. No hope. CD please. CD. <gasps> CD's nuts. Now if we just- Oh! oh boy. We're on! Woo! Woo! Shut up, please. <laughs> <laughs> My understanding is that we change the boot order. To that meaning that's when it boots off. Does that make sense? Probably not. That means it's going to look to the CD for guidance and life advice. Particularly the latter. Particularly because it's not going to have a long life if it doesn't work. It's because you're going to throw it against the wall, aren't you, Sonny? Yes. All right. Well, let's work. Let's. It's on. Let's start. Right? What is the problem? Uh, no. Ah! Let's see how it go from here, Sonny. We keep troubleshooting until 
you have a beer and go to the hop. Maybe. What we're doing now <laughs> is we are downloading Windows 10 onto a memory stick and we'll shove the memory stick in that computer and install Windows 10 off it because the disk drive doesn't seem to be working. Or is it just rust? It's probably rust and dust. Well, the odds you eat it. One in ten. Three, two, one, six. Ooh. You? No. Oh! You done? Yes. It's about damn time. All right, now we have Windows 10 on a memory stick. Theoretically, this can't not work. Touch wood. Yeah, he's on it. He's on it. How do you feel? Yes. Elated, brothers. Elated. Another step. All right. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. What? I've got to plug in an FSD. Uh, uh, it's got nothing to install onto. I bought mission. Bought mission? I bought mission. Oh no. This is probably not healthy for it. Round two. Did do this last time. What? <laughs> So, turns out my disk drive isn't working at all, which means we can't install the driver for the solid state drive, which means we can't install the operating system onto it. So, I'm gonna plug in this hard drive, put it in there, put the OS on the hard drive, download the driver, fix the SSD, then I'll install it onto the SSD, wipe this hard drive, and Boom, we're done. Theoretically. And then we should be able to just slide. Boom. Plug in on the other side. And we should be green. Oh, actually. Nah. I think I need to plug the power in to the SSD. If true, I'm an idiot. Oh man. If this works. It'll work. You reckon? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fire out. Right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. At least we don't have to muck around doing what I just said. Yeah, we're on it. We're on so, it. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, I forget how you do this. We're just gonna yellow it, I think. Uh, <laughs> this is an emotional roller coaster, I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, gummy's got it. Okay, mm all right, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Getting files ready to be a long wait. Back to the waiting game. Cue another time lapse. <laughs> Why not? Pro tip, turn all these off. It's just Microsoft cheating on you. They will not have my information. All right, pray to the machine gods. Okay, we're on. I might have fall, nah, I think we're right. So we have something magical here, Sonny. We have reached the desktop stage. Now we just have to install everything and get the hard drive plugged in and then put on the final dust filter so we do not have a repeat of last time which is the whole reason this is broken in the first place. So what we're doing now is just mounting the SSD. Now we know it works. Now we have the OS on here. We can put it all together so it'll stay together. Then it cannot go wrong. Promise? No. Don't, don't check. <laughs> Now, the hard drive has power. 
Boom. Don't tell mom my cable management's terrible. Let's turn it on and see if it works. We need to format the hard drive somehow. All right, so now we have the SSD and it is good. And we also have the hard drive, which is in there, but we can't use it yet. So what we need to do is partition it, which makes it usable for the computer. Here's what I don't know, so I'm gonna have to research this. What don't you know, Sonny? A lot of things. I'm gonna true again. Boom. Are we in? Yeah, we're good. It's now usable, so if we go down to Explorer, we have an yeah. SSD and a big fat 1.81 terabytes. Hard drive. Beautiful. What's what's up next? What's up next? I say we fix the the visual drivers, graphics, download Chrome, don't use Edge. <laughs> Microsoft Edge is a recommended browser for Windows 10. Good try, Bill. Good try. <laughs> oh, that's fast. Oh, I'm tired. Are you tired? There we go. That is the face of a tired, frustrated bloke. Right there, look at him. Ow. Eventually, we managed to get all the software installed, even though it took half the night to download. My best advice for doing something like this is to schedule a lot more time than you think you need because it will never go to plan. It's Murphy's Law. The trick is to be patient and keep trying different solutions until you find one that works, even if you want to throw it out the window. Also, do your research first. All in all, I definitely recommend trying to build your own computer. Just don't fuck it up. Oh, Lord. Thank you very much, Larsa. You're welcome. Happy you have help. done me a very <laughs> good <service>. big <laughs> favour. Right, so this is plugged in, which means you. One of us is going to crack soon.